what are we about to do? We're about to plant some Brussels sprouts, some collard greens, some turnips, some rice. Rice? Yeah. No. Just kidding. And just kidding. What was the other thing that we got? Maybe that's it. Brussels sprouts. Yay! Let's do it. <laughs> Get your uh, rake. Oh, oh. We're growing these Nagasaki Akari Kabu turnips. They are from Nagasaki, Japan. So stunningly beautiful and delicious. So we just basically are scattering them inside of a little row. Um, they're supposed to be about four to six inches apart, so we'll probably have to thin some out. We're going in order of height because the sun actually comes from here and goes this way. So we don't want anything too tall blocking the morning sun. So the collard greens go next. Yep, the sun goes from this way to that way. Ready to plant these? Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Come on this side. Same deal. So our next two rows are Brussels sprouts, we have the mm, Red Rubine and Long Island Improved. So these are going in next. This is our first time growing these, so we will see. Yep, it says best as a fall crop, and especially here. I couldn't find any YouTube videos on growing Brussels sprouts in Louisiana, so I decided to make one. Start with the red ones. I've never had a red Brussels sprout. Mom, can you do the rest? Yeah. Please. Are you done? Yeah. Okay, you want to start? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, Good job. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Okay. So next goes the green ones. Brussels sprouts and they are coming up which I'm super excited because I've never grown them before but you can see the brassicas have a look to them you can really tell when when they come up because they all look the same when they come up here's another one so with these I didn't build my rows up so we'll see how this goes we just kind of moved the stuff to the side we have here our collard greens row, and they're coming up. Another brassica, so you can see there. 
and in the first row we planted turnips and they look quite similar so we have turnips coming up here and I didn't plant anything here I'm just letting this kind of set there's a root here and I'm working on taking down this pine tree you can see I've been cutting it because it blocks a ton of the morning sun so hoping to get this tree down soon so I'll have more sun but that is how it's going for November 3rd and we'll just see how this does over the winter this is an experiment pretty much everything I do is an experiment Nola get out of the garden Nola really Nola oh I need a fence <laughs> so happy gardening you guys um I'm hoping to do a video next time of how I cover up my strawberries in the winter time so that they come back. So I hope you stay tuned for that. Take care.